Good morning. So, a uh, final devotional thought from that section in James for today. Therefore, put away all filthiness and rampant wickedness, and receive with meekness the implanted word, the one that is able to save your souls. It says that we're to receive this word of God, the one that can save our souls, with meekness. Now, meekness, it gets variously translated, but the Greek text, the word means to receive the word of God in a way that is uh, non-self-referential. Uh, in other words, in a way that isn't subject to ourselves. So in a political climate like we're enduring right now, uh, seemingly every word that everybody says is subjected to the way we feel or the way we think. Uh, and if we say or do anything, it gets measured by the way others or the receivers interpret it or use it or what whatever. Uh, this is exactly the opposite of that. Meekness is exactly the opposite from that. It's to receive the word according to the way it's intended to be received by the one who gives it. We don't subject it to our own judgment. We don't subject it to our own thoughts. We don't subject it to our own feelings. To receive with meekness, the implanted word, the one that is able to save our souls, means that we defer to God and what he means by it. Now, that's one of the reasons why these studies uh, involve going back to the original text of the New Testament, written in Koine Greek, not even written in classical Greek, but in Koine Greek, and going back and trying to understand the grammar, the syntax, the vocabulary in which it is written. Why? Because we're deferring to God. We're acting meekly. We're not taking God's word and making of it whatever our thoughts and our feelings governed by 21st century whatevers want it to mean. But instead, we defer to what God says. We defer to the word of God and we humble ourselves underneath it. And what a word to be humbled under. The word of forgiveness. God's I forgive you for Jesus' sake. Because my son endured everything for you and accomplished everything for you, I forgive you. I release you from your sins as far as they are, east from west. And I deal with you according to my great love and mercy and not according to your sins. That is the word we defer to. That is the word we humbly receive. On this Friday, until Monday, God bless you.